welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll just be giving you guys a quick update on my Weekathon reads and share with you a mini book haul. Okay, so I know I said I was on a book buying ban, but this, um, but last 8th, 8th or August 8th, there was a, of course, if you're from the Philippines, you probably know that there was a a huge sale from um, most online platforms, um, specifically Shopee and Lazada, um, where we usually buy stuff. And Adarna House had a huge sale on the um, books that they had. Um, so this haul was not done in the Akalatan um, Philippine Online Book Fair. Um, but it took a little longer to arrive here because um, Adorna House had some problems um, contacting um, this uh, certain courier. But anyway, they're here, so um, and it's still August, so I'll probably be reading this books on the third and fourth week of the weekathon to catch up on my reading goals. So I have here my laptop to check on the prices to show you guys um, the discounts that I got for these books and the first one is um anina ng mga alon I, i'm not sure if it's anina or anina ng mga alon which was a national book awardee for 2002 um and also a recipient of the pilar Perez medallion for young adult literature and i was able to get this for 175 pesos from its original price of 250 Pesos. The next one is um, Sandali. This is a graphic novel um, by Mikey Jimenez and Mikey Marchan. And this one was originally 199 and I was able to get it for 139 pesos. The next one is oops, Lirio. And Lirio is created by Magpira Paolo. And this one is also 139 pesos from 199. And then we have Ang Hari ng Commute by Lizette Daluz. And this one is also a, uh, an award winning book. It it received the National Children's Book Awards Best Reads for 2016 and 2017. Okay? And then we have here um, 1201. And 1201 is also um, 139 pesos from 199 pesos. And um, I'm not sure if I said it already, <laughs> but Ang Hari ng Commute is 69 pesos from 99 pesos. And the book that I am most excited about for this haul is this one. It's Dead Balagtas, Ang Mga Sayaw ng Dagat at Lupa. And, yeah, this one originally costs 550 pesos, but I was able to get it for 385 pesos and if you guys have um, watched my Kindle unboxing video you probably know that I got a handful of Shopee coins from that purchase and I use those Shopee coins to get even more discounts on these um, books so yeah okay so now we're going to talk about the books that I have read for um, the second week of the weekathon and Unfortunately, I was only able to finish two books and I read those through Kindle. And the first one is um, No Two Ways by um, Chiyu Rodriguez. And um, I filmed myself, my um, initial reactions after reading that book. And, um, I'll, and I'll be playing that short clip now. This book is explores um what it's like to be a bisexual in the philippines and actually uh, the overall bisexual experience that you might have even when you're located somewhere else around the world and yeah um it's a quick read which 
is why I was able to finish it. Um, and it's a good one. These um, themes that the author has opened up um, on the book are actually uh, impressions that people have with them. Like, um, it's either you're one or the other. The current relationship is with the boy, that does, does it mean you're straight? And if it, the current relationship is with the girl, does that mean you're a lesbian and not a bisexual person? So, yeah, that was the themes. I mean, those were the themes. Ex <laughs> I think Munchie has, sent, has a secret sense for when the ring light is on. She knows when I'm shooting and she comes. My little star, superstar, is here. So yeah, that's my overall experience on reading. Um, no two ways. For um, no two ways, I was, I thought I hadn't included, I hadn't included it in my um initial TBR for the weekathon. But um, when I checked on the notes app on my phone, it actually was um allotted for modern Pinoy prompt so there's another prompt that i have checked for the week and then um the other book that i have finished is um private lessons by cynthia salaisai and that's an arc that i got from net galley i slated it for filipino diaspora which is um since cynthia salaisai is the um lives out of the country and yeah so that book um talks about um, a teacher, a music teacher, and a piano prodigy who's a Filipino. And um, she wanted to pursue piano to help her um, get into a good school and to continue her father's legacy because her father loves piano. Um, honestly, this book was just an okay read for me. I rated it 3 out of 5 stars because this book um, revolved around um, classical music so if you're a classical music fan or a musical a music student and, or something like that you would enjoy the references and the discussions on um, actual mu uh, classic musical pieces and all that right from that this book also is like short of sort of a coming of age story wherein the lead of the story starts having friends, exploring her femininity, um, you know, trying trying to hook up with someone, um, and this on um, the same friend group, and then there's also recreational drug use um, by minors on this book, so there's a trigger warning for you, and then so the main. Um, what do we call it? There? The blurb of this book and also the selling point of this book is it's appropriate for the Me Too movement um, because there is a um, sexual harassment part and a um, power play and or taking the most taking advantage of their power by um, this piano teacher to. Um, our main character here in the story and then um, discussions of consent discussions of rape and there's also explicit sexual content on this book though it is targeted for young adults so there's another um, content warning for you guys on private lessons so i'm trying to think about what my actual thoughts are on the book i just have to say it's okay um this book did not really took out some emotions in me and the pacing is quite bad there's very little development in the story like so again i'm a little conflicted about my thoughts on this story but um those are the few things that you should know before reading private lessons by cynthia salaisai and if you have watched the few um clips that I have collected on what's, what was supposed to be a reading vlog for the week. I started reading um, The Vampires of Portlandia by Jason Tanamore and 
I also started reading The Never Tilting World by Rian Chopeco. Unfortunately, I haven't finished both of them yet. So, I'll be continuing reading them throughout the weekend. Hopefully, um, I'll get to finish those two plus add another, um, some other um, Tagalog books. I'm probably starting Janusi lang soon and I'll be um, doing a Tagalog um, reading vlog book review-ish video for that. I also am planning on um, reading this um, this book, especially since they are thin and I'm craving for some graphic novels. So I'll be reading this and I'm sure um, it will be a breeze and it will also add to my weekathon reading goal. So yeah, I guess that's it for my updates for this um, second week of weekathon. See you on the next update. Bye!